Hello everybody, it's me, Mr. Meat Max, and welcome to a very special video, as today I am going to be doing this very special tour on this great journey that I had for my birthday. I know this video is a bit of a late upload, but I know there's a better time to do it, and so, yep, yeah, to now, now is the right now, the great time to show you what I experienced for one of probably one of the greatest birthdays I've had in my life. It was around 2:30 p.m. on November 25th, the day of a special day for me, Mr. Meat Max. We arrived on Union at Union Station, and then proceeded to head down to track number five, where yet again our Metro train was waiting. I was pretty much hoping that a F-59 PHI, which is one of Metro's newly bought uh, locomotives, would pull the train on our way to Big Timber, but kind of disappointed it didn't since it was an MP-36 PH locomotive, but at least it was a cool streamlined looking locomotive. The journey begins with us, of course, at Union Station, and today's run on a Metro train would be on the Milwaukee District West Line which runs between Chicago Union Station and Elgin. Uh, but in some cases, it also extends past Elgin all the way to a town called Big Timber, which is where we were heading. We begin with the train heading north, departing Union Station, and making a northeast turn at North Canal Street Crossing.
The train rolls by one of my favorite places of all time, Metro's Western Avenue Yard, as I'm able to see a lot of Metro equipment stored here whenever me and my family drove by here in my younger days, which and I still kind of do, but not as much before, up, up to this modern day now. And they still got some old F40C locomotives stored here, which it would be nice to see them back in service at some point. Here the train rolls through Mars Park oh, now here and right here is where I did my very first rail fanning video uh, and I'm, I'm shocked I didn't even realize that the the Milwaukee District West Line actually ran through Mars Park which is actually a this is actually where I used to go many times before in my younger days as well um, seeing trains go by here as well it was it was really fun now approaching Mars Flare.
as we departed Bensonville here, as you can see, we found, well, actually, I managed to capture this steamer that was preserved here, uh, out here in Bensonville. Um, I actually remember seeing this steam engine a very long time ago, and I didn't even know that this was, um, on the on the Milwaukee district line in fact I completely forgot about the steam engine and wondered what route I was um, we were passing uh, the first time I saw this uh, on preservation in fact uh, I completely forgot about it <laughs> uh, I guess this spices up this birthday trip a little bit since I managed to see this steamer once again after many many years As you all can see that there is a sign saying no train horn. That means this area, this neighborhood is a quiet zone so trains don't have to blow their horns because this area has conducted safety features where conductors or drivers don't have to blow the train's horn. So that way with those safety measures that way the place in the, the train crossing can be more safe and so people that way less and less people can, don't have to face the risk of getting killed by a train if you guys want to learn more about quiet zones ask me in the comments below so i can like make a video about that because safety is important in the u.s especially when it comes to trains <laughs>
The scenery is in fact magnificent around here with the Fox Lake and all the building scenery in the background on our way to Elgin and then past that our final stop Big Timber. But as you guys can see right there, it may be hard to see, but there are some swimming duckies in the lake and there was also one flying just above it uh, as we were cruising along on the way to Elgin. Once we arrived at Big Timber, we waited some time for the family members in the car to get to, to get there since, well, we got there first before them since they obviously didn't know where they were going. But yeah, uh, we drove to a restaurant that was a couple miles from the station. And to make it better, it was a Mexican restaurant that had my favorite meat tacos. So I really enjoyed that. And they also threw... Apparently, they also do birthday type meals there, which I didn't know since I never even heard of that of that place. But yeah, I actually enjoyed it. Uh, pretty nice for a restaurant meal with family. Yeah, so I enjoyed it. Uh, we then proceeded to do something else, but it wasn't available at that time. So we just we just decided to have a meal over there in the northeastern part of Illinois, and so we decided to cut that short and then head back to the station to make the return trip back to Chicago Union Station. What made this also quite strange was that my brother actually joined along for the return trip and I and it was it felt kind of awkward and strange to me since he's a hater of trains legitimately. So I didn't know how to react, but at least I got to enjoy myself with the return trip and night scenery with uh, everything. The train then departed Big Timber right on time, heading southwest back to Union Station.
as we near Western Avenue, another train overtakes us on the way there. Uh, and eventually we overtake it once we enter Union Station. So it's kind of like a small little race between two commuter trains, which kind of was quite epic in my opinion. No time at all, we soon arrived in Union Station, bringing a close this adventurous 2022 birthday celebration for me, Mr. Meat Max. This 2022 birthday celebration really was a game changer for me, as the, it's it was fulfilled. I have a, it was all filled in with the great drain fun and uh especially with uh new food that i got to eat especially and also the good old cake and especially with the game changing presents that i got now that i got a new monitor that i am editing this video on currently so it puts out much better quality and of course um are really uh, amps i guess but I also got a two terabyte external hard drive, so very likely a special game on the channel is likely to return yet again on the channel. So you might expect that at some point. But yeah, 
if you guys enjoyed this video i hope you, i wish i hope you did because it was my birthday but i know this video was a, exceptionally late because i had nothing better to do because i was suffering in school but at least that's over for a little bit for now at least but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like on it subscribe and turn on the post notifications to not miss out on any new video or stream or community posts since now i have that and until next time guys i guess i'll see you all in the next video peace out